Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big night as the housing data was released to start the week and it was not particularly good. The major drop across the board in sentiments and that is why you need to get a forceful check in every U.S. state. Last week, inflation continued to track higher. The CPI, the PPI, and of course those retail sales on Friday. But this week we'll get more guidance about money and we'll have a lot of data to go over. That's why you have to get that force to check in every U.S. state. It's about $100,000 done by Joseph Biden back in the month of March, and it's been paying out ever since. Now, the recession's upon us, and that $100,000 is needed. And that earnings recession is detailed more tonight, but you're going to get those incredible checks to lay this according, state at the very end, as $100,000 of force to checks are in every U.S. state done by federal stimulus by the federal government. It's coming up later in this recording. Plus, would you like $5,000 more for your benefits? It's happening because inflation continued to track higher. Well, the latest details on that front tonight, that CPI on Wednesday, the PPI on Thursday, why inflation remaining high is going to send your benefits through the roof. The biggest payout you see of a generation. Plus, we'll be looking at the earnings numbers that came in minutes ago from IBM. It's a shocker. Get a, become a member. Go right on this video and become a member. Get those incredible checks across the board because the earnings recession upon us is underway. The PPI and the CPI last week gave us guidance about where inflation is and how much more your benefits could be going up. But this week we have a lot of other data to look at. And we'll look at the data that was released this morning on sentiments. Loss of sentiments among builders, loss of consumer confidence in the markets in general. Then we'll be looking at what we should do as a family, as a community, to prepare for the looming recession. You want to get as much money done by executive action from President Joseph Biden back in the month of March. It's go into this video, become a member, get those incredible checks because you qualify. We have a lot of data to go over in tonight's recording, and the data starts with that financial freedom because guess what? Corporations reported less earnings this last quarter than ever before. From the shores of Santa Monica, California tonight, we have a lot of major breaking news to go over. Goldman Sachs is part of what we're going to see tonight. Layoffs, corporate earnings down, indication of recessions underway, and warnings that inflation is pervasive. That's why you got to get the four stimulus check that is in every U.S. state, state of the very end. And we're going to get all those incredible monies tonight. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's a major broadcast. It's evenings L8, and the incredible details... Start right now. Good evening, everybody. It's an important week to get that force to most check because guess what? There's a lot of housing data being released this week, and it's not particularly good. We started with the housing data today, and we're going to go over that in a second. The home build is released on Monday. The housing starts coming tomorrow. And Wednesday, the existing home sales. Why are those numbers important? Because it gives us guidance on where this economy is and where it's going. It gives us guidance on inflation and gives us guidance on the recession and the impact of Federal Reserve, Jay Powell, and his push to raise interest rates. We started the week with those, of course, those housing data today for Monday, and it was a shocker. The data released today by the National Association of Home Builders and Wells Fargo Housing Market Index gauges sentiment among builders. So there's a confidence rate. Are they confident? Are they happy? Or are they sort of, you know, a little bit unconfident? Sort of when you walk into a party wearing lobster shorts. <laughs> so what do they have? Their confidence fell 12 points to 55. This is the single second largest drop in the 37, actually the second largest drop in the in the 37 year history of the index following the drop of 42 points to 30 at the start of the pandemic. Not good. The index's Chief economist Robert Dietz said the following, affordability is the greatest challenge facing the housing market. Significant segments of the home builders population are priced out of the market right today. So the confidence among home builders fell in one month 
the second largest drop of recorded history in nearly 30, 40 years. That's not good. That signals that what Jay Powell's doing by raising interest rates to lower the growth of this economy is working, but also send you in recession. It also means you got to get that fourth stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time because you qualify for these monster sums of money. And how do you get these incredible sums of money, and what is it? These four stimulus checks became a law back in the month of March for Joseph Biden, and you get them when you become a member because you go on in this video and you subscribe, you become a member, and get the incredible newsletter and get those huge checks. We're going to go over each of these incredible checks in just a second. But the, the week started last week with that CPI and continued thereafter into the PPI. What did we learn? On Wednesday, the PP CPI was released that gave us indication about inflation. And it showed that inflation was surging out of control. This was a June number released on Wednesday. And the number was substantially higher than the month of May. In the month of May, we posted 8.6% for inflation, CPI. What happened in, on last Wednesday? June came in at a whopping 9.1%. Ouch. And that is good news if you're on benefits because your benefits will be going up a lot upwards of $5,000. Why is it so important to watch inflation for exactly that reason? Because your benefits could go up a lot. The weekly data we had last week was just consecutive. Wednesday, the CPI beat on inflation. Thursday, the PPI beat on inflation. And Friday, the retail sales beat on inflation. This is all great news for your benefits. Why? Because your benefits are going to go up a lot. Viewers have been asking great questions about this. First, viewers have been asking, is it automatic? Yes, automatic. It's you. If you're on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, get ready to do a pair dance. Because your benefits are going to be the biggest we've ever had of a generation. The biggest this channel has ever existed. This is everything you ever dreamed about, and it's happening. We had years of talking about SS300 on this channel. We had one year talking about this stimulus, and now this is happening. This is everything you wanted, and it's likely to be even bigger. First, is it you? Yes, if you're on benefits. Number two, is it automatic? Yes. Number three, is it the same percentage for everyone? Absolutely. It's not the same $5,000 for everyone. That's dependent upon how much you currently paid. But it's the same percentage lift, and it's absolutely incredible. What is it dependent upon? Inflation. What's going on? Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, and COLA is a benchmark released in December. But COLA is determined by another number, and that other number is a part of the CPI, which we just went over. It's called the CPI-W. It only looks at three months, July, August, and September. The number we had last week, Wednesday, was June. So if July we're experiencing right now remains as high and August and September, your benefits are going up a lot. If it goes up even higher, your benefits are going up even more. Just keep on sending me those wonderful articles. I love them. Your benefits are going up a lot. And how are we doing? <laughs> $100,000 of forcible checks, $5,000 of raising your benefits, $80,000 of the bill back Iraq. We're just getting it underway. It's eight minutes of the video, but stay to the very end because it's getting even better. A major announcement from an unlikely story that's sort of buried nowhere today came on gasoline. This is a great news story, and I hope it spreads back to the United States. The major announcement came from the European community that's dealing with rampant unemployment, and they announced that to battle recession, to battle the concerns about gasoline being turned off in Europe by Vladimir Putin, they bought some oil. <gasps> Finally, <laughs> it's just been like months of talking about this in the month of March. If only Joe Biden did this. Yeah, uh, Joe, can you, Joe, 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 can you watch the video? Can you send the video to the president? Can you tag the video, video with the president, please? Uh, the president needs to learn what the EU did just minutes ago. The European Union has reportedly signed a deal with Azerbaijan to get gasoline. Oh, now, it's not petroleum gasoline, it's nat gas, natural gas. And the reason why is because the Nord Stream 1, the pipeline that feeds gasoline to Western Europe, featured on this channel last month, is under maintenance. And Germany, France, and certainly myself all agree that they believe Russia will not turn it back on. Repeat, this is a pipe that feeds all the gas to Europe from Vladimir Putin. It's under 
uh, scheduled maintenance. And they all say, hogwash, it's not coming back online when the scheduled maintenance is done. So they're smart. The EU actually sent their president out to go buy some gasoline. And the reports say that the deal has actually been signed, that the actual signature happening at the time of tonight's broadcast, right at the time of tonight's broadcast, is just a formality. European Commissioner of President Verslan von Lederen is now in Baku at the time of tonight's broadcast to sign a deal for Azerbaijani oil that will remove the Europeans dependent on Russia. President von Lehren and Energy Commissioner Kadri Simpson will be in, en route to Azerbaijan to fully strengthen the cooperation. <laughs> That's an understatement. They reportedly already signed the deal. They're just not trying to spoil the news across the board. Wow. If only our president would do this, we would potentially avoid a recession. Remember, a recession's happening. Why? Because there's gasoline shortage. The president of the United States has not gone about the gasoline. And if he doesn't buy the gasoline, we still have a recession. How much gasoline have we been seeing? 3.5 million barrels of gasoline a day. This is how it works. Gasoline remains high if gasoline is in shortage. Well, unlike Von Lederen, President Biden has not gone about and bought the gasoline. Hopefully, someone gets to him quickly because this has been a narrative on the channel since October last year. And if he goes and buy the gasoline, then the CPI comes down. But he hasn't, so the CPI remains high. That is why the Federal Reserve is going to raise rates. What do you need to do? You need to get as much stimulus as you can for your family. In the next 90 days, you need to prepare your family accordingly by getting as much money as you can. Number two, you need to raise savings. And number three, you need to remove as much adjustable rate debt. Well, it was a fascinating day across the board as recession was discussed by a bank that reported corporate earnings to discuss practically everything else. Goldman Sachs reported corporate earnings for second quarter before the bell today, and they also talked about inflation, recession, and labor. A lot in one announcement. First, Goldman Sachs reported corporate earnings for second quarter. This is an earnings recession. Remember, we're watching the banks and all the other businesses to see if they're suffering an earnings recession. Last week, one bank reported Corporate earnings down 50% in one quarter. Ouch. So Goldman Sachs did have a down quarter, but it was a lot better than expect expectations. And that was great news across the board. But Goldman is cutting hiring because it says labor is a big problem and they see a shortage, they see a slowdown of its business. Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon said today that inflation is deeply embedded in this U.S. economy as well. Ouch, how many things is he bringing to the table? He says inflation is deeply embedded and it's not going away. People got in use to overpaying of prices and it may not stop. I expect there's going to be more volatility and there's going to be more uncertainty in light to the current environment. We will manage our resources accordingly. That was the statement minutes ago today. My di dialogue with CEOs operating big businesses, they tell me they continue to see persistent inflation in their supply chain. Our economists, meanwhile, see signs that inflation will be more lower in the second half half of the year. Well, obviously. The answer is uncertain and we'll all be watching the situation. Goldman is now slowing its hiring and this is after it had a major beat on the earnings, even though the profits were down 48% in one quarter. Here we go again, another bank with earnings in a recession, down 48% in one quarter, but not as bad as Wall Street thought. Now, the day started with the housing data, which we sort of skipped over, and we're going to go back to that housing data right now. The housing data, the first of three days of housing data is all about inflation. Remember, you need to know this inflation because it gives you guidance on where your benefits are going. Today, a home builder's reported, and let me tell you what that home builder's number said. It basically said that consumer confidence in the home builders is not good, and it continues to road across the board. And why is this big problems? This is big problems because we also had new consumer confidence in another report, not related to home builders, that mirrored it. What's going on? Well, at the same time, we had the home builders report coming out today. We had another report released from Prim America. And this was about what the average consumer feels today. Consumer confidence among those that qualify for a stimulus check is way down. Among those whose income falls in that $30,000 to $100,000 range, which is generally a stimulus check, 75% said today that their earnings are behind the cost of living. 
They say they're now not making enough money to keep up with the cost of living. And 77% think there will be a recession in the U.S. economy next year. I guess they've been watching this channel because that's what I said. Let's go over to that chart. That chart is so important. you got to prepare your family by getting as much stimulus for the, your family as quickly as possible because this economy is slowing down very quickly. A recession is underway. But when is the recession? Let's go over everything you need to know. First, I was the only American broadcaster in February this year to report we would go into recession, but I said it would happen next year. Then a recession was confirmed by the Atlanta Fed GDP now just a few days ago as they reported the second quarter of negative GDP growth. So what do you need to know with you and your family to prepare for this? Well, let's look at the graphic. We're currently in November to September, and that is already in a recession. But the hurt, the real hurt of the recession is January. That comes in January. And that is why you have to prepare for everything accordingly, left and right. What are we going to see between now and January? Well, we're going to see consumer confidence fall, spending fall, and income going to fall, and you're going to see unemployment rise across the board. Later this week, we'll be watching that labor number, and that labor number is hideously important. 244,000 new jobless claims last week. It's not good. It's the highest number of 2022. It continues to track higher. What's going on? What's going on is that the labor market sees the impact of the corporate recession. How does this work? As businesses make less money, as we watch corporate earnings this week post more downward quarters for the second quarter of this year, those same corporations are going to turn around and lay off people. And as those layoffs control continue, those people are going to look for unemployment. And that's why those unemployment numbers continue to go up. What's happened? 244,000 new jobs claims last week. A major surge because guess what? It was just 200,000 a few weeks earlier. Then went to 230 as I projected it would. Three consecutive weeks to 230 and finally to 244. And that is why you have to get that four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Why? Because all those people will be looking for stimulus very quickly when they realize that they do not have any more the stimulus of 2020 for unemployment. PUA is gone. FPUC is gone. PEUC is gone. All those um, sums of money that you love from 2020 are gone. That's why you have to get these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. That's what's important to note. Now, let's bring it back to learn what happened with that inflation last week and why that inflation may get more indications this week as well. Last week, we had the CPI on Wednesday, the PPI on Thursday, and then we had retail sales on Friday. The CPI surged on Wednesday when it came in at a shocking 9.71% compared to the month of May at 8.6%. Then on Thursday, we went to the PPI number. What happened with that PPI number? It surged higher as well. No one saw that one coming, and that was certainly a shocker at the time. The PPI came in on went on Thursday, and that is the producer price index, and it rose dramatically as well. Um, then we had, and that that certainly came in one point one percent. Then we had the retail sales that came in on Friday, and that signaled that inflation was still pervasive in the products you buy in the stores. It showed that retail sales rose one point. 1% in the month of June, higher than the 0.9% expected. Collectively, what does this mean? Collectively, it means <laughs> you're going to get a lot more checks for a lot more money for benefits. Remember, your benefits are tied to inflation, so we got to watch and see if this inflation remains the same where it is in the month of June into the month of July. We're experiencing right now, then August, and then September. If it does, boy, your benefits going up a lot. About $5,000 more per year if you are on the mid-range, and it could be even more, the, the lift, the percentage, will be the same for everyone else. And that percentage has really changed dramatically. A report uh, came in over the weekend from Art Hogan. I featured this briefly on this channel. But he called it a mob psychology. What was he referring to? He was referring to the give and gab about what the Federal Reserve is going to do with that interest rate spike on July 26. What I want you to focus on is the following. Federal Reserve is going to raise rates, and then they're going to be gone in the month of August. Then they'll be back in September. The Federal Reserve is looking at what's going on with this economy, and all this pervasive inflation is good for your benefits. This is really what you deserve, and this is what you're going to get. Now, what's also deliciousness is this big 
wonderful forcible checks in every U.S. state. Those incredible checks are there, and you don't deserve to wait for it. You can't wait for it. A financial cliff is coming, and the economy is slowing very dramatically. Go under this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Let's go over all those incredible checks right now. These four stimulus checks were done by executive action back in the month of March. They are huge. They are wonderful. And you're going to hear them on LA1 and LA2, launching in just a few days. It's a four stimulus check in every U.S. state, approximately $100,000 done by federal stimulus. That's why it's everywhere. Yes, you qualify. Approximately $100,000, the biggest payout we ever see of a generation. And it's for you. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on children, knock with children. If you're on benefits, SSI and SSDI, go get it as well. How do you go get it? You go under this video, become a member. Then stay the second half as we go over all these incredible checks one at a time in the incredible membership newsletter. You deserve this money. You know there's a stampede of people looking for money coming as this financial economy changes so dramatically. Get these incredible sums of money right tonight. Go under this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Join this channel and stay the second half. Now, if you're a member, pull out those worksheets. Those worksheets are featured in the membership newsletter, totally free. This is all the wonders of benefits to this channel. All this stuff is created just for LA. You don't see this anywhere else. You don't see the breadth of coverage. You don't see the breadth of analysis. You don't see the dedication to you anywhere else except on LA. Now expanding to two new channels with LA 2 and 3 launching in less than 14 days. Subscribe to both those channels under this video. Here are the LA worksheets. It's a series of pages, a PDF. You can print it out or take notes on a separate piece of paper. And what do we learn tonight Let's go through the PDF of the worksheet starting right now. On the inflationary front, we learned tonight that Goldman Sachs believes that inflation is pervasive and is getting embedded into the U.S. economy. That's not good. That's exactly what Joe Biden, J Joe Biden and Jay Powell don't want to have happen. They don't want people to get used to paying overpriced prices for milk and eggs and think that's their new their new normal. They are unhappy with that across the board. It's not good at all. Recessionary environment is upon us. And the recessionary hurt is now evidence in that new poll released today of consumer confidence, where most consumers believe a recession is coming next year. Inflation is also really important for your benefits because if inflation remains as, as it was in the month of June, in the month of July, August, and September, you could be seeing another $5,000 on top of your benefits approximately. Labor. We'll be looking for those unemployment claims released this Thursday. 244000 last week. If it goes higher, it's going to be a shocker. It's already at the highest level of 2022. And the Federal Reserve, do we care what Jay Powell does? No, because he's going to do three quarters. He's going to do 75 or 100 basis point at that July 26 meeting. Doesn't really make a difference to you. What it makes a difference to you is the next page of the worksheets. The next page of the worksheets is this wonderful table. It's called Four Stimulus. It gives you the opportunity to take notes on what you've done. Why? Because you got a lot of utility bills. You have water, gas, heating oil, um, uh, natural gas. You have a lot of different utilities. You got to keep track on all of them. And each one is not its own entry because you may get the water bill paid by one nonprofit for three months, then get the water bill paid by another nonprofit for three more months. You may get the water bill paid for one year from the city and then, the, then another year from the county. So there's a lot to take notes on. The LA newsletter has all these incredible sums of money for you, but you need a place to keep track on when you applied, who you applied, what you got paid for, and what months that was, because you're going to be going back and getting more money. The next page of the wonderful worksheets is Fissimals. That's why we just went over the raise of your benefits. You can take, you can do a table and you can run calculations. If your benefits go up 8%, 9%, 10%, how different is it? People keep on sending me wonderful articles, keep on doing it, where there's a lot of talk about the different percentages. It's all projections. Of course, you and I will watch this as it happens. Six stimulus, that was a big shock of a story tonight. The EU with Ursula von Lennerin going to Azerbaijan to buy nat gas, natural gas for it. Western Europe, thank goodness, because Nord Stream 1, that pipeline from Russia to Germany, they believe the Russians are going to turn it off permanently to, yeah, to stick it to Western Europe. 
And then finally, the last page of the worksheets is the wonderful um, page about student loan debt forgiveness. The president has already forgiven, 10, has already forgiven student loan debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation, went to work in the nonprofit or public sector, and now is likely to forgive $10,000 across the board for individuals who make $100,000 or less. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. That's why you stay in the second half. Go right on this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Join the channel. Get these incredible checks and go over them with me in the second half. Then we'll be turning back to your benefits and more about how that lift will happen and how it would work. And then we'll turn to the Build Back Better Act and the latest of the negotiations at hand. And finally, my motivation and inspirational chat for you tonight comes up in the final moments with my commentary for a beautiful July 18th. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as America's Most Watched Show in Prime Time continues its evenings. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues a big second half of evenings. I hope you have a beautiful night. It warmed up here along the coast, but I know it's been hot across much of Europe and the United States. So please stay cool. Thank you for joining me on the big second half. In this big second half, we're going to go over those incredible checks in every U.S. state. You qualify. Why would you not get these huge checks? We're going to go over each of them one at a time. But first, let's understand where they came from and why they're there. These wonderful checks were done by Executive Action for Joseph Biden back in the month of March. <laughs> and at the time, viewers said, L.A., can you find us some checks? Because they haven't gotten that Build Back Better Act done. And I did. I really looked hard and low to high and left and right to find them. And I found them. A series of Executive Action checks immediately delivered to members of this channel the night I found them into the newsletter. And viewers started getting them. Viewers have been cleaning up. Massive sums of money. You're not going to see this anywhere else in financial news, anywhere else in broadcast news, local news, cable news. You're not going to see this anywhere else. This money has been around now for a few months. Viewers have gotten it. But you can still get it tonight. You want to get it before the money runs out. You want to become a member right now and get these big sums of money. Number two, you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less annual income, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less annual income, go get it. If you rent, if you own it, if you have children, if you don't have children, if you're on benefits, SSI and SSDI, rural benefits, veterans benefits, SSA, go get it. Finally, this money is available now, and it's wonderful. It's federal stimulus from the federal government. So you want to pounce and get those incredible sums of money. And let's go over each of these incredible checks, starting with the very first. I've given a lettering system on this channel, starting with check A. It is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less annual income, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? Step one, become a member. Step two, subscribe to this channel. Step three, go under the video and where, go down in the membership newsletter Monday through Friday when you get it and find check A. 
There it is. Click the link and send you right into the nationwide website. Choose your state, choose the homeowner's weatherizing grant, and bounce. $6,500 to $12,000 to you. But not done there yet. Go get check B. <laughs> wow, look at that money. Fifteen dollars to $80,000. It's a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. And it's called the homeowner's grant. How do you get this? You know the routine. Number one, subscribe to this channel. Hit the subscribe button right now. Number two, go into the video and join the channel. Join the hundreds of the join daily to this channel and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cow, Sino VIP. Get these checks before other people do. Get these checks before they run out. Become a member today while the money is still there. Then go down that wonderful membership newsletter. You find check B, click the link, it sends you into the nationwide website. And then choose your state and you pounce. Wow, did you see that? <laughs> Look what happened. We just covered $100,000 in just a blink of an eye. $12,000 on A, $80,000 on B. We're not done there yet. We're going to go with check C. It is an incredible $2,000 a month over 12-month MSC for many viewers. But for a lot, for an average viewer, it's even more money. They're averaging about $45,000. And several viewers have gotten over $100,000. This is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. How do you get it? Become a member. Then get that newsletter. Go down. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. And you pounce. The success stories of Chexie date back to the earliest days of this channel. Let's look and see what other people have gotten for Chexies. Do you want 20000 like Nisi or twenty two for Richard, twenty four for Nancy, twenty five for Mark, or 27000 for rent like Elizabeth and go get Chexie? Look at these numbers for utilities. Nancy is 7000 Mark's brother-in-law got 15000 for utilities. He also is getting a quarter million dollars a year, excuse me, a quarter million dollars every 10 years for SNAP because he watched his channel. And then let's look at the combinations of checks. Nisi at 23, Mark at 32, Nancy at 32. But Nisi has gone from 23 to 50,000. Mark has gone from 32,000 to 166,000. Oh my goodness, Mark. He went to 50,000 here, then he went to 100,000, then he went to 166 because he got check B. Here's Lorraine. She went from 105 to 150. What do Mark, Nisi, Lorraine, and Johnny all have in common? The following four things. One, they watch all the videos. Two, they keep on getting checks. Three, they know where this economy is and where it's going. And four, they try to digest as much information as they can from this channel. They're in all the live chats, and they need that information. They understand this economy is changing by the minute. I'm not going to repeat tomorrow, potentially, that the EU bought nat gas, natural gas. I'm not going to repeat, uh, I haven't repeated for, for three weeks what happened with Nord Stream 1. So the content doesn't repeat, but it's all impacting your money. And that's why you need to know exactly what's happening for your money, where the economy is and where it's going. It's a confusing economy. And these people are in all the live chats as you should. You shouldn't miss the videos. And thank you dearly for watching all the videos on Saturday, especially Sunday. I was on top of you with that. I said, don't disappear this weekend and just show up back on Monday and say, what I miss? You watch the videos. Good, good job. Keep doing that. Don't forget the morning videos, the afternoons, and the evenings. Number two. Uh, subscribe to this channel and also to LA2 and LA3. We'll be going over those two channels in just a second. Number three, go into this video and join the channel. Become a member. Where the button says join the channel, hit it. Become a member to get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday. And then there's a bell at the front of the channel. Make sure you set hit it to all notifications, just like you do on channels LA2 and LA3 as well. And there you go. Let's go over the membership newsletter together as a family right now. The LA newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system, and the 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Here is the YouTube alert. You go down the YouTube alert, but when you receive it, and you go down in the YouTube alert until you get to, yes, the incredible button where it says click and view post. Click the button, you go right into the membership newsletter, and you're done. Very, very simple. So simple. As Carol says, you do it all for the viewers. You put it all together for them. You are done. That's the newsletter right there. Want to watch it again? Let's do it again. The L8 newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Now, you need to know your time zone. You need to look it up, know what time zone it is. You also need to make sure your phone or, or computer 
is remained signed into YouTube. If you don't know how to remain signed in, it will never recognize you. You need to remain signed into YouTube so it recognizes you as a member. Via the YouTube alerts, those YouTube alerts, here's what it looks like for members only from New LA Post. You're getting these alerts. The first line of the alerts says LA Membership Newsletter. This is what exactly you get. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You go down in that alert to find the wonderful button that says click here and view the post. You click the button and you go right in and you're ready to rock and roll. Ready to get these incredible checks across the land and get them in the best way you can. And with that, let's go back to understanding what's going on with this economy and where this economy is and what its impact is on your money. Your COLA is dependent upon what's going on with inflation. So that's why it's so important to watch this channel on a daily basis. Because inflation is going to track higher, but whether it's peaked or not peaked is so important because its impact on you is felt through your benefits. If inflation is not peaked, the benefits are going to go up more. If inflation has peaked, then that's the most your benefits are going to go up. But most analysts believe it has not peaked. That's why you have to watch this channel. Next, we need to watch what's going on with those unemployment numbers. Those unemployment numbers will signal how deeply entrenched this recession is. And that deep entrenched of the recession has not really yet occurred. You saw the quote by those by, in the new poll today where most Americans believe we're heading to recession. No, we already are in recession. There's a slight difference of why that's important because they believe something hasn't happened when it has happened. Next, the housing data that's coming in all this week is so critical because it basically shows a combination of items. Whether consumer confidence is not there, whether construction is no longer there, and whether the buying is not there. It's a combination of things. The buying, the confidence, and the selling. Because remember, housing is both sides of the market, the buyers and the sellers. It's also everything in between, like the material costs. Meantime, we really want to see whether we get more inflationary data that suggests beats or misses. Those data are so important. And what is so important is really staying focused. What I've had viewers in the last few days, at least on Saturday, really try to zone in on is zone on the subjects of this economy that really impact you. At the moment, they are really recession and inflation. Inflation is important for you because you have a benefits. Recession is important for you to know how, where your value of your dollar is. If your dollar is worth less because of recession, you need to know about it. J-Pow and the 75 versus 100 push, it's really not that important. Now, let's talk a little bit more about focusing, and this is what's very important. In the next two years, there is going to be an importance of being here on this channel to focus because focusing is so critical when things are not good. It's easy to report things when everything is punky dory, but when things are not actually that good, then it's important to remain focused. Here's an example of what I mean. Some people would like to just sort of show up to a party when it's a party. But when it's not a party, they don't want to show up. It's important to know where things are, even a bad circumstance, because there's always a way to navigate through something that's bad. Here's another way to say it. Don't just show up when there's a stimulus check. Don't just show up when there's a stimulus check and, you know, oh, oh, there's $500 for me. Celebration, celebration. See you back, you know, after I fall off the financial cliff. Oh, don't do that. That is why it's very, very important to really stay focused on where this economy is, because the next two years, there's going to be two people. One who knows where this economy is by spending the time to watch and learn, and the other person who doesn't. And that person who does is going to be in big trouble. The person who doesn't know where this economy is going to be in big trouble. There are ways to prepare yourself accordingly, starting right today, reducing your amount, number of costs in the home, reducing your adjustable rate debt, and increasing your savings and your stimulus. And if you're not doing that and you're just sort of spending uh, happy-go-lucky, then guess what's going to happen? If you get laid off and you think that there's unemployment stimulus, there's no unemployment stimulus like 2020. It's that sort of pivoting that's very important. It's important to know where things are. That's why we have financial analysts. That's why we rely upon financial news to give us guidance on what's happening at a specific point in time. Learning to earn move to groove, that's all part of the narrative. As a family, we also have to keep ourselves positive. 
we understand the president's popularity ratings are down. We understand the president's poll ratings and new economic data released today are dramatically down. We understand that other Democrat candidates are stepping up forward to run in 2024. We all understand that. But what it's important to understand is that this is just 2022. And what you and I need to do is prepare ourselves and our families, our communities, our church, and our home for what's going to happen with this economy. Here's an example. A new report today had a series of bizarro quotes, I call them bizarro, not just bizarre, bizarro quotes, talking about the rise of crypto. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> so cryptocurrency has had a little pop in the last two days. Not much to write home and, and, send, uh, and, and send a Brussels sprouts cake. It's, it's not that much of an upside swing. But Bitcoin has now come up to 22,000 from a 19,000. Here's what you need to know. Some people just want to celebrate that good times are here to stay and whenever they try to have that opportunity and they modify the facts to fit the narrative, it gets them in trouble. Here's what you need to know. Housing market's not going to come back. Labor market's not going to come back. Crypto market's not going to come back. Stocks are not going to come back. We got two years of recession and we're just starting the recession. Everything downturns. As it downturns, it has pops back up. The pop back up on crypto this week is a pop back up. Let's say tomorrow's housing data on home sales has a one month up. Do you think that some analysts are going to Wall Street and say, uh, the, the economy is, is tough, it came back, we're not going to recession? Of course some analysts are going to say that. The last two Fridays, the last two Fridays, like clockwork, analysts were, after a whole week of bad news, saw one sort of maybe mediocre news story and ran with it and said, oh, we're not going to session. We're all great. We're all going to go and, and, and uh, go to Lobster Fest 2022 this weekend. <laughs> well, you are. I'm not. Uh, that's what happened. It happened two weeks ago when the June jobs payroll number came in. And it looked like they were celebrating the release of uh, Mitch Anse's newest song, Left and Right. <laughs> it looked like they were celebrating a new San Francisco hairstyle. I was like, what are you doing here? Then last Friday, when the retail sales number was released, they did it again. What did they do? Oh, it's wonderful numbers. People are spending a lot of money. Uh, if you go to buy soap. And the soap is $2 more than it was the month before because of inflation. It doesn't mean you're spending a lot more money. It just, you're just remaining the same cleanliness you were the month before. <laughs> it's just, it's the same bar of soap. You're buying one bar of soap last month, one bar of soap this month. The only difference is the bar of soap is a little more expensive this month. That's why the number went up. Yeah, they're trying to run with this, aren't they? We're not going to allow them. <laughs> we're going to trip them. So what's important to understand is that you need to know these things. I love it. I love how in tune you've been. I love how you're watching how much your benefits are going to go up. I love how you're understanding it's dependent on inflation. I love how you're watching the inflationary projections and the different analysis. You know, some analysis may be wrong, but the fact that you're watching it, you now have a better sense of what's incorrect and what's correct. That is what's happening across the land. You should never apologize or feel uh, inadequate or feel... Uh, at, at, at a benefit over someone else who doesn't want to take the time. There are going to be people, as this economy gets worse, who do not want to take the time to learn. And if they don't want to take the time to learn, they're not going to earn. They're going to show up in a bad circumstance financially because they did not take the time back in the month of March or April or May or right now. And when they show up after the falling off the financial cliff, what are they going to say? There never was a forced stimulus check. Of course they're going to say that. They're saying it right now. And guess what? They don't have it in their wallet. You do. They don't have it in your wallet. You do. All you got to say is, I have to focus on my family, my home, my community, my church, the Purple Power community. I got to focus on us. I can't focus on people who don't want to learn because they're not going to earn. And when bad times get much worse, because they're not that worse yet, they're not going to be in a good circumstance. I can't focus on those type of people. I got to focus on myself. That's what you should be saying. That is how you get through this economy. Remember those downward spirals of the economy. This downward stages we're going through, they're abrupt. They're not long durations. They're right here, right now. Unemployment's going to track higher. Gasoline price is going to track higher. Interest rates are going to track higher. Price of goods may not go down. Recessionary winds will pick up. And mortgage rates will pick up. Consumer confidence is falling. Spending is falling. And income is going to fall as well. And with that, let's go back to the Build Back Better Act to understand what's likely to happen with that and when. 
and how it will manifest itself. The Build Back Better Act is a series of checks in three clauses and three add-ons unveiled in 2021, passed in the Senate, passed in the House, and now in the Senate. The likelihood of those individual checks depend upon a series of factors. The first factor is whether the whole bill is shrunk, and second, whether the bill gets the major negotiation we believe it's go- getting. First, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars of force most checks are in there across the board. But you got to do something to get those incredible checks. The first add-on is twenty five thousand dollars for the purchase of your first home. That's likely to survive. The second add-on is $250 billion of free home health care for seniors or people on disabilities. That would likely survive. And the third is MSC. That would only survive if the Build Back Better Act remains large enough. Now let's go to the individual clusters. In the third one, lots of money for seniors, likely to all survive. Dental, vision, hearing, alone in the eligibility age of Medicare, and also free internet for all. In the second cluster, nothing's likely to survive. Home repairs is now Check A in this video. Paid leave is not likely to survive because Joe Manch is against it. And the first cluster, hazard pay. One more year, the earning tax credit, likely to survive. The CTC, $3,600. The $4,000 of elder care, $4,000 of care for young children. Nutrition and $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. It's the Build Back Better Act. A lot of checks, fifteen dollars to 80000 which requires you to do something to get them. On top of the existing checks right now in every U.S. state that you qualify to get as well. Huge sums of money. And on top of the approximately $5,000 of checks that you'll get if your benefits continue to track higher. It's the news you need. It's the news you desire. And more of it is coming to this channel in just days. In less than two weeks, LA2 and LA3 are going to launch. LA2 is purely stimulus. Stimulus and humor. Round the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with a 24-hour show just on stimulus and all the humor you love. Sirloin, Javita Late, Blaine 66 back with new personalities as well. Blaine 66 back in Tier 2, the hit show from 2020. He previously worked at SBA and Mitch McConnell's office. Where does he work now? We'll find out. Sirloin back with Javita Late and and Blaine 66 in Season 2 of Calcino. We last saw them with a power struggle underway. Will they both rejoin the the show in the ensemble capacity from last season? And finally, the new show coming to this channel, Seriously, starring Sir Lloyd in his own humor take on Congress. Meantime, on LA2 will be a 24-hour show just about stimulus. Jump over to LA2, subscribe today, take a look at its preview shows currently testing on that channel. And then LA3, subscribe to that channel as well. LA3 will be your cooking channel and Wall Street. Everything you need to know about this economy, where it is and where it's going, you need to know this programming because it gives you guidance on the value of your dollar. Plus, you need to know the value of your Brussels sprouts cake. (laughs) All the wonderful cooking you've always wanted in one show and lots of it coming to LA3 as well. And with that, make sure you go into this video, subscribe to LA1, LA2, and LA3. Hit the bell notifications on all three channels to make sure you're notified when programming launches and LA2 and LA3 launch. And go under this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Pearl Power, Casino VIP. Stay throughout the, tonight's broadcasting as the programming continues with Evenings LA to 5, Evenings Countdown at 6, Stream Stillness at 7, Extra at 8, Sunset at 9, and of course, the hit show LA Live starting at 5.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time nightly. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, get that big checks. Stay informed, stay focused. Have it cool, keep it cool. Have a beautiful evening and stay with LA for more.